We are asking for good fortune for the world. Alafia, my kindred. It is so good to be here with you today, bringing our powerful prayers together on behalf of Mother Earth and all sentient beings. We are facing some very, very trying times um, now. We all know the various uh, challenges that we have of impending war, hunger, environmental devastation, and dis dis-ease. Today, we're going to call upon our most ancient connections to say prayers for the healing of our earth, to say prayers for the healing of our mother, to say prayers for the preservation and the improvement of life on this, our home planet. So I want to um, invite you to sit back, relax, feel the solidness of the earth beneath your feet as we venture up into the heavens to pull down the inspirational energy of the sun and the moon and the planets. Let that energy fall down around you, caressing you, moving through you, grounding you, and feel the seeds beneath the soil that will blossom in spring. Rest now, rest now in the certainty of the workings of nature. Take a deep breath and let it out slowly. Take another deep breath and let it out slowly. And on the third deep breath, prepare to share your prayer with the world. We're going to start <laughs> with uh, a video that I want you to watch closely and allow the music and the words along with the visuals to move through you. This is a piece uh, for the earth by the late, great Michael Jackson. <sighs> Let us take a moment to take that in. Take that in. My prayer is for anthropos, for human beings to be still long enough to allow the earth to heal. Next, we're going to go to Africa and hear from our sisters, Divine Spark and Universal Mother as they offer a prayer to the sacred tree. I'm <laughs> 
Beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That felt really, really wonderful. Yes, indeed. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Take a deep breath because the love just going to keep on rolling now. Okay. We're coming to our beloved Tutu with a prayer and a message from the beautiful, beautiful Hawaiian Islands. Tutu, come on now. Come on. <laughs> Lafia, my brothers and sisters, my family, my beloved family. I would love to begin with an Oli, a Hawaiian chant. It's a chant of gratefulness and thankfulness. Mm. Uh, so, Mama Honua, Ikalamai, Ki Olu Olu Oe, bless this Ohana. As our feet touches the skin of your surface, mm. please feed us with your coolness, with your warmth. Allow your peace and your joy to infuse in our bodies so that we can step forward on your aina, on your land, of which we were created from dust we were created, from dust we will return. So we are the aina, we are the earth. When harm is done to Mama Honua, Mother Earth, Harm is done to our people. Okay. Ooh, hola, ia, kamaka loala. Who I ke alohala. Who ka ia ka loala. Pave hi mai na lewa, mai ka oku ia ka halalaila, mahalo e ke akua, mahalo e na kukuna laia, mahalo me ke alohala, mahalo me ke alohala. The makaloa mat has been unfolded. Mm. Food is shared in love. The great breath of Mama Honua, Mother Earth, is exchanged with her children. The Lehua honors and adores from zenith to horizon. Gratitude to Keakua, to our God, our creator. 
Gratitude to our ancestors. Gratitude with love. Gratitude with love. Mahalo me ke aloha la. Mahalo me ke aloha la. Beloved family, as we are joined in unity, the Mother Earth delegates of United Original Nations. May each of your names be like a pearl and a necklace. May each of your stories be an incense that travels to heaven. May your names be lyrics to the song that touches the ears of our Creator and our Mother Earth. May you be blessed. May you be blessed and infused with peace and calmness and joy as we attack every challenge, every turbulence that may surround us and the light to explode it into little pieces of molecules and sent to the light with our souls our spirits being untouched by any energy, thoughts that are not for our highest good. Blessings to all of you, my Ohana, my family. Blessings from the higher powers that lead us through these days of tribulation and joy. Please bless Jyoti Ma on her journey, her very exciting journey to Madagascar. And Auntie Loretta, please watch over her as she travels through the storms of Vermont. Please, Lomi, Okapuvai Yeetesh, Lomi her heart and hold her tightly with the technical difficulties that she's having it and dismiss it from her mind mm-hmm. and her reality, knowing that we are in the hands of a greater power that can complete, can do anything for us, for our benefit. Um, Uncle in Greenland, please Mm -hmm. help him. And there's so many on this list, all of us going through our wonderful challenges, stepping stones, not stumbling blocks, Mm -hmm. stepping stones to a higher place. So let us realize that in times of adversity and doubt. Help us to see those beautiful rocks, not to trip us and make us fall, but for us to touch and hold and feel the life and the coldness and the stability of the pohaku, the stone, the rock before us. We love you so much, my ohana. Your song is so beautiful for my heart. Let us sing together and rise higher and higher and higher as a unit, unified family. Blessings from Hawaii. Aloha no, love, blessings. As we touch our noses and exchange our breaths together from where we sit across the planet. In the presence of God, aloha. The breath he gave to us to share with each other. (sighs) Aloha. Aloha. Mahalo. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, Tutu, you are blooming flower, honey. Look at you. Might be a little bit withered, but might be a little bit withered, but still got plenty aroma. I see, I see. That was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Not me, honey, not me. Thank you so, so much, so, so much. The next little piece that we're going to take a look at comes from the concert for All Beings, which was performed in San Francisco. I wanna take a moment to say that Jennifer Barrison, who is the conductor, 
um, is the head of Edge of Wonder Music. And uh, she specializes in spiritual concerts. And I must say this one and the Praises for the World concert feel like performances that I've been preparing for all my life. If you were to go to YouTube and put in Jennifer Barrison or, um, or um, Concert for All Beings, praises for the world, you would see pieces of the concert um, for all beings, which is wonderful, and the praises for the world. You will not regret it. We in these concerts address every tradition in the world, every tradition in the world, and a spiritual approach to all of the problems of the world. So this is um, my prayer for the endangered species. Can't hear it. There's no sound. All this space because there are so many things with the internet that are moving mm -hmm. and uh, Margie is working hard to make oh here I think she found it okay here we go. <laughs> The list of endangered species grows longer every year with too many names to hold in our mind. How do we honor the passing of life? What funerals or farewells do we offer? Tears are too meager now. So tell me the old stories that you still remember and return us to the vastness of sand and seas and sky where we can meet each other again. Then give me a song, a song for a sadness too profound for my heart, for a rage too wild for my throat. Oh, but your tracks are growing fainter. Wait, wait. We are here to honor you and to thank you. We stand now to defend you against the order of extinction, the signature of death. We will hold you forever in our memories and work to replenish your habitat, our mother earth, grizzly bear, polar bear, Glacier Bear, Brown Bear, American Bison, Bighorn Sheep, Rhinoceros, Asian Elephant, African Elephant, Arabian Gazelle, Rio de Ora Gazelle, Caribou, Red Wolf, Gorilla, orangutan, chimpanzee, power monkey, woolly spider monkey, ferret, giant kangaroo rat, Mexican prairie dog, pocket mouse, red ruffled demure, pygmy rabbit, American crocodile. Nile crocodile, Chinese alligator, Ridley turtle, red-bellied turtle, 
desert tortoise, jungle beetle, tiger beetle, gecko, tree boa, man winged grasshopper, Arctic tern, seagull, emperor penguin, imperial pocket, gray pelican, brown pelican, harpy eagle. West African ostrich, wood stork, whooping crane, California condor, Egyptian vulture, black brown albatross, hoary bat, lotus blue butterfly, swallowtail butterfly, emerald dragonfly, dusky seaside sparrow. Golden shoulder parakeet, fin whale, blue whale, right whale, beluga whale, Borneo shark, Greenland shark, small tooth sawfish, stellar sea lion, Chinook salmon, coho salmon, white sturgeon, rainbow parrotfish. Green sea turtle, harp seal, monk seal, Indus river dolphin, river otter, sea otter, West Indian manatee, cheetah, cougar, Mexican bobcat, ocelot, Florida panther, lion, clouded leopard, Jaguar, Chinese tiger, Bali tiger, Siberian tiger, snow leopard. Hmm. Everybody take a deep breath because the beside the pain of that long list of endangered species, I want you to know that what came out of that concert was indeed a message that we can call them back with the promise of a change in our behavior we can call them back. So I ask that every day you consider uh, which of our kindred are in danger and call them back. Thank you. Ooh, take a deep breath, y'all. <clears throat> okay, now we have Grandmother Jill T who is on her way Let us go forward in safety, Grandmother. Thank you, Grandma Louisa. Yeah, yeah. All of that's sitting here with me around this sacred fire today. I'm, it's so strong, some of what's coming in today. It's been strong. It's getting stronger. So I think what we are all noticing and feeling inside of ourselves as grandmas is that we need to circle up right now and lean into each other and ground ourselves in the spirit of life itself. She needs that kind of firm attention and love. And as, she's, as we're each doing that, because each of us is significant to what is coming down, is landing with us, you know, at the same moment, she said to us, when the Mother Earth delegation came together, she said, Declare your sovereignty. Declare your sovereignty. And isn't that what every single one of us is having to do right now? And she said, restore the original caretakers to sacred territories. This is what I need right now. So this is where we're going.
with that, I think uh, internet is not working very well. You are unmuted, Lisa. Uh, Grandmother Joti is frozen on my screen. Yes. So, um, I don't know what, what we should do. How do we, we how can, do we uh, remedy this? We can, we can uh, we can go to the to the next uh, the Ellen video and she can uh, come back later. Okay. Helene, grandmother Helene. Helene is, is a, it's a video. It, it's a video. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, so this is the grandmother from the Sami people. Yes. Yes, and she has a message for us. Thank you. Hello, um, this is Grandmother Helen, sending you the blessings from the wonderful winterland here, from my home, where we had snow coming so much the la late, latest days. Um, I want to, to share with you today about how the balance of receiving and giving is important for all of us. That we take time, especially during these times now, but during also the winter time, that we take time for resting and, and give us well self time to go in inwards. In my culture, that's very important because it's kind of a survival system to survive the next season and um, to to know how to to prepare yourself for the common season also so and what we are now going through is a lot of changes and uh, a lot coming up to the surface and that's why i think it's important to talk about that the importance of ourselves that we take care of ourselves to be strong so we can also walk here for Mother Earth, be here for her as she is for us. Um, <clears throat> that, is, um, that is the message um, I really want to send to you because all over I can see what I see from my and what is coming to me is that there's, there's so many confusions and there's so many struggles and there's so many fears and um, there's so many in-betweens now and uh, that's why also it's important to take time for reflection because we have the journey we have in life we have all a history and the history is a part of us uh, and will always be it's um, it's apart from 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 where we come, and it's apart from the bloodlines, from the ancestors, and the creators. So it's but it's really really important to listen the, to to what's coming to us this time. I have just ended. Um, I was blessed with the COVID. I was saying blessed because it gave me a lot of teaching and <clears throat> whatever you do and whatever you are in the world we all try to do the best and sometimes we maybe not have the tools for how to or know what to do I also say just pray and and you will the praying is very very important I think that is the most important to pray, but also in the prayers, include yourself That's because true. you are very, very important wherever you are in the world. Because we have this, we have this struggle in different ways all over the world. But for me, that coming from the north, it's it's 
uh, we, we can mirrorize the same that's happening in the South. So in the way we are different culture with different traditions and uh, but we are in a way in not in a way we are the same we are struggling with the same but we have different perspective of it so with all my blessings and um, love i uh, i really want to send out a big warm hug to you all all over the world and take care of you take care of each other and remember you are not alone thank you Ashe. Ashe, Ashe. thank you thank you thank you very very much uh i believe that we can return to grandmother jyoti can we find her are you talking about me? I'm talking <laughs> about you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just as I was saying, we're getting all kinds of challenges, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, here God wants to make a real good example of, of me being the challenge. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to have to leave my picture off because we're having Wi-Fi issues over here. So mm -hmm. excuse me one and all, but I just want to pick up where I was dropping so I don't drop my thread because what she wants me to be sure and em emphasize today is what, sh what she gave us as a mandate when she brought the Mother Earth delegation of United Original Nations together. Declare your sovereignty. Restore the original caretaker to their territories. This is what she needs to move into the next level of her ascension process. And so many, many of us are on our ponies, moving around, going into ceremony, following in her instruction. That's why Loretta and Mendahi and myself and some of the other members of our community have been called into Madagascar so that we can plant our prayer for peace there and unity amongst all nations so that we can begin to work in ceremonial ways and traditional ways with those original principles to restore, reactivate, protect this sacred territory there and its original people. So with that, I just want to say, put God's comfort around all of us as we go, your prayers your good wishes, light a candle, join in this journey with us. So when we come back next month, we can share a little more about what we learned because we're all learning as we take these steps. We are all learning how to meet the energy of challenge and what wants to stop our voice from being heard, what wants to make us step aside from who we truly are. So with that, I just want to bend here on my knees on this Miwok territory, this land of the Miwok peoples. I want to sit here on my knees as this grandmother, praying to you, Mother, Father, God. And I want to give thanks to you today. I know our message is strong and the challenges are strong and we keep persevering and we keep showing up. And we, don't, we worked so hard with each and every challenge to calm the nervous system, mm -hmm. to calm the mind, to calm our bodies and the stories that swirl around us, to calm ourselves so we can sit here, kneeled before you once again in a reverent way for life and come back to the heart of ourselves. For when we truly do, Creator, that heartbeat beats with the heartbeat of this Mother Earth, beats with the heartbeat of this great cosmos. It is a sound and a rhythm that brings us back home to ourselves and the beauty we are. For that memory, I give great thanks. 
Our nation is pouring down coding on every one of us like now. This like sweet milk, it's flowing over us and it's flowing in us and altered, alterating and it's moving and reorganizing us. And it is solidifying us in that true, true alignment with our nature. For that, I give great, great thanks. I give great thanks for everyone that heard the call and is standing up inside of it. May the angels of this great, beautiful Mother Earth, this pearl that moves through the cosmos, may they move and touch each and every single one in those moments when we want to stop it. It reminds me so much, Creator, of when I birthed my first child, and that moment comes right before life comes, and all mothers say, enough. Mm-hmm. I can't do anymore. It's enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My creator, something bigger than us, evolution itself pushes this new life into this world of ours. And so right now, collectively, we are birthing ourselves into the new dawn. Beauty is amongst us already. And I give great, great, great thanks. Thank you for your patience, Grandma. That one that dreamed us into now and is dreaming us still. Thank you for your love, Grandma. That one whose vision weaves reality so that we might walk in this creation with the diversity of her creation made more visible. Thank you, grandmother. Thank you, grandmother. Thank you, life. May it flow with ease and grace. And it is. It may it be so. Thank you. With ease and grace. Now we have love and beauty in the form of Grandmother Jenki, whose prayer is poetry, whose prayer is song, who just looking at her is a joy for me. Jenki, Jenki, come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so lovely, lovely prayers, lovely dream, the hope to dream more. Oh, I love everything that you all said, and it's a remem- it's a remembrance. You remember, I remember, we all remember, we know. Things just go to sleep. <laughs> we go to sleep. And now we wake ourselves up and wake those things that that we think are gone. But we wake them up again. I wake myself up again as this new song. And as a multidimensional being in this earth ground or Bukarigara, creation ground, common ground, this beautiful place from the stars to earth and back again and so many times around so many faces so many moments and here we are celebrating the grounding of everything that's coming from the galaxy from the new codes of the new earth and 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 the new star children of the new earth i stand everyone forth so happy and excited and 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 remembering myself as the guardian and protector of this new earth and uh, all is to be protected 
Bunny Wild Bull, River, Kolara, Coast, Yalman, Desert, Wadi, Island, Warangari, One, Wallangari, Circle, Circular, Law, what goes up must come down. So um, I was told by the Galactics that we all are that um, as we come down and I am coming into the embodiment, it's like I need support to embody, to come into this embodiment of the new me. Uh, and in order for me to l ground my light into this body, I have to love myself and love you all. <laughs> And I have to love life again. <laughs> and I have to see it through the innocence of the inner child within me. So um, I remember you all. And um, I'll give you a photo of myself when I was five. And I hope that you will give me a photo of when you were five. Because when we were five, everything was possible. And the impossible just took a little while. So I'd like to leave you with the song because um, peace I leave you, I'm at peace. And um, there's no one to fear and um, there's nothing to hold on to. And the more we hold on to it, our old selves, the old cycles, it becomes painful and it's easier to let go and just completely surrender so I know a lot of stuff on many levels but at the end of the day it's like when do you actually just give up and let go of that old story and just to remember well I can move the impossible it just takes a little while so I'd like to leave you with this beautiful song because we are the we are the impossible and four to six weeks it so we're on we're on the downhill now and so this is the last this is the the week of the last two weeks and next week is the celebration of how good are we you know through our neutralness and our, our grace and compassionate heart to to be peaceful and neutral as Subran says Live life claimant, remembering our claim that is from the divine and natural and that we are all equal and we're all one and the same. And we must remember there's nothing above us or below us. and It's time to walk this together. So I'm just kind of sitting back and the more everyone rises up and I'm excited there's more here at first light that are rising up and becoming more funnier rather than being angry you know with the the old systems and the old dictatorship and control and destruction of ourselves and the reflection of ourselves with mother earth and but being gentle with each other and um, learning how to communicate in a peaceful way to connect on a human friendliness again so I'm, I'm excited and I get to step back <laughs> I get to step back more and see everyone just rise up and shine and do it in a really beautiful way without fighting and hurting ourselves and whoever we might be so um, I'm finished with that I the truth has set me free and um, it's here in black and white, and there's no need to fight. It's just, let's be a part of the solution. I'm a solution broker. I'm a full remedy. I'm, I'm about uh, just really looking at the problems and saying, let's alchemize it into gold now, and let's come into this beautiful time of the golden age. And I'm really looking forward to getting to know you all more and I'd like to come and visit you <laughs> someday.
and enjoy the parts of Mother Earth that I've received from each and every one of you. I'm so looking forward to it. It's not too far. And, um, and yeah, just looking forward to making peace and love with every one of my relations because my feet has touched the earth and as the through our treaties and our connections with Ganata and uh, America and the uh, Native Earth claim and the rise of the people there uh, I, I got a song from the Lakota an old song oh my feet touch the earth oh I love you Yes, my feet touch the earth. You, I love you. Yes, my feet touch the earth. Oh, I love you. Yes, my feet touch the earth. It's been a long It's been a long time for all of us, so don't be frightened. Have a soft landing. Don't arrive too quickly as you ground. It is open for all of us to come and ground our light and feel safe in our bodies again. There is no fear when we're looking from love. Sacred Earth Woman. Sacred Earth. Mama Jyoti, you have an amazing time over there. Bring it, go in an old way. Safe journey. I know you'll have a great time. Loretta, Mother Earth Delegation. I'm honored to be here and I love walking with you. Federation of Light. On earth ground. Mabu, Lian Mabu, good spirit, we thank you from the ancients of the sacred lands, Gongwana, when the world is soft and one. Long, long time, the dream time means to be fully awake. so far to who we are down the long and rocky road oh, we gotta be the best we can everything will be all right it's time to fly Ain't no turning back Things won't be the same But who is there really to blame? Gotta change our old ways, yeah Take us to that new place, it's time to fly Keep holding on yesterday. All we got is this moment now to dream tomorrow. You come on, right the wrongs and all the way. Come together as one. Kujara in the Kujara, come and go in together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Cause our conflict must stand Come together, let's not dispute You're out of my darkness And into our lies We're gonna be the best we can Yeah, everything will be alright It's time to fly Can't keep holding on to yesterday. All we got is this moment now to dream tomorrow. You come on, right the wrongs and all the way, my baby, come together as one. Oh. We gotta be the best we can, yeah. Everything will be alright. It's time to fly. It's time. It's time to. Baby, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Hush now, my darling. No more. Fly, fly, fly. Mm, mm, mm. Do it, God. I know you can. Mm, I believe you. Mm, I believe you. Mm, love you all. Love you, love you. Honey, you rocked us, baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> jinky, jinky. <laughs> You rocked us, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was lift off. Anytime. Anytime, Mama. Anytime, Mama. <laughs> Wonderful. And so now we're going to hear from our maiden, from from Shauna Blue Star. Shauna, you here? Hi, Grandma Joti. Or excuse me, Grandma Lisa. <laughs> Hi, baby. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to hear from all of you and beautiful, beautiful song. Thank you, Jinky, as mm -hmm. always. So feel your heart, feel the inspiration. It just feels very good. And I hope that everybody that's listening uh, now and if you're watching it on a recording, that this goes out to many, many people throughout the world, really uplifting hearts and minds and spirits. Um, I, I just want to acknowledge as many of us have spoken, you know, these original instructions, these original, the original peoples of the land and honoring our indigenous ancestors, honoring our free and independent existence since time immemorial. Um, I just really feel that's a part of this new learning, relearning, remembering that we're in and really just honoring the sacred elements of life, and the ancestors and the future generations. And today I wanted to bring um, some messages about the new era of love, which I think Jinky just brought us into that. So it was interesting timing that way. <laughs> and um, and I also have messages that I have received that I wanna share some from the, from the ancestors that have come through in this um, as well. So, but I, I remembered a story or kind of thinking back about an elder that um, passed long ago in my community, but he always, like to talk about working with certain people, people of the heart. And he called it um, the circle of good hearts that he was bringing together. And he said that um, there would come a time when the people of the circle of good hearts would come together and the world would know peace. And I just mm -hmm. feel like this is the time that we're moving into right now. And it is about that remembering. And it's hard to really, some people, sometimes I've had people say, oh, it's, you know, how can we talk about celebration right now when there's all this um, a lot of changes, a lot of confusion and chaos spinning, and it is all happening, but it's all happening as I think Grandmother Jyoti see there, there's something else 
there's something bigger at work here. Mm -hmm. And there's a time of a quickening happening for conscious evolution on a really global scale. And I think that's the part that when we really look at the whole, we kind of go out from the, to the eagle's perspective. That's how I like to look at it. We see the bigger, bigger picture and we feel into our hearts in a deeper way. And that's what we're being invited to do right now. So I, I really celebrate uh, Jinky's song and music and just really bringing us into that beauty um, because it's time for us to come into that within ourselves, within our own being, hmm. and also within the collective as we're coming together walking in this new time. Um, it's a time of stillness, it's a time of spiritual connection, deep listening, and a time of great healing and transformation that's possible. And I really like to say that um, the ancient ones spoke of this time, a time of great rejuvenation and really bringing in those original instructions, how we can honor the sacred living in peace, balance and harmony, walking and remembering all of those, those uh, animals that, you know, as sure. grandmother uh, Louisa brought that to our attention and all okay. of the great beings, all of the trees, all of the plants, the animals really honoring this natural world that is a part so much a part of us and so much a part of our bodies and our hearts and just really learning how can we be in this sacred walk together to really honor our precious mother earth sure. i just feel like we're all profound instruments for change right now and each and every one of you carries the seeds of greatness within you and many people i hear are awakening to dreams they're having a greater sense of the great mystery and miracles unfolding in your life and this is beautiful these are the seeds that i think so many people that really haven't had a sense of the spiritual connection i i know that maybe not all over the world but certainly within the country the united states there's a lot of people that haven't had that spiritual connection i think that's really missing and this is part of the remembering as jinky said as well as how can people really come into this honoring of something much bigger at work here there's also the reunion of the sacred feminine and the sacred masculine. And I just really celebrate that, the coming together of the sacred feminine and sacred masculine in the spirit of love. And may they be reunited in deep love, respect, honor, and peace. This is so important right now. And I see so many celebrations of this in many ways. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Men are coming into their hearts even more and women coming into their power even more honoring um, just all of that is just incredible right now and i just see also this time of unlearning a time of questioning a time of seeing with clear eyes to see the shadows behind the scenes mm -hmm. and the root cause of our collective suffering and trauma looking deeper into what hasn't been serving us how we've been walking and not really questioning systems that are valuing profit over planet and people the natural world and they continue to perpetuate fear, violence, corruption, competition, greed as everyday values. So I just see this is a time that we release these patterns that keep us locked in this illusion of separation and suffering. And I feel like it's a bigger time of really empowering ourselves to come into our own inner knowing, coming into our own self-trust, coming into our own self-love. Um, so I just wanna share this short message that the ancestors brought. Um, it is about finding peace within by finding the love within ourselves. This is of utmost importance during this time, a deep unconditional love that is based on acceptance and understanding and respect and awe and wonder and joy and bliss. This time of great evolution is simply a matter of each individual making a conscious choice to his or her own awakening. It is love cracking through the darkness and bringing in the light in profound and wondrous ways. Remember that the spiritual path is not a marathon sprint. It is an uphill climb and there are mountains and valleys and all is part of your great journey in evolution. Do not worry that you're not doing what you should be doing or going fast enough. For there is not, there is no right or wrong. You're doing your part and that is what matters. You're doing the work always simply by being you. Shine your light and be who you are. And the ancestors say, we are here walking beside you with you always. You're guiding you in the next steps. And this is great magic in the making to heal the suffering. So in this new era of love, let us remember we are in this time of great evolution. 
It's a beautiful invitation to live in greater love, joy, peace, and harmony. And we're in a time of discovery to that self-realization, the inner self, a time to listen deeply. And really, I just celebrate that, as Jinky was saying as well, like looking at the honor of our of our inner child and really celebrating the fun, <laughs> not taking everything so seriously, just remembering the awe and wonder that we knew as children. Remember that you are light, you're a part of the earth and the cosmos. You are that body, you are the heart, spirit, and mind, and you are love. And it's time to rise, to fly, to realize our true nature, to celebrate the infinite possibilities that are here for us in this new era of love. Oh, I just really say thank you. I want to celebrate all of you. Many blessings and love to all of you. Gwanishi. Ma Shauna, yes. are, you, are you baking something today? Am I baking something? Yeah, for some reason I, in my head right now, I'm associating you with a loaf of sweet bread. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Maybe. I, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. But maybe it was just the message was sweet. But <laughs> that that definitely came up like a loaf of very very sweet bread. Okay. Um, speaking of the sacred masculine, next we have Baba Papa Randy, who is going to give us a prayer and maybe even a story. Randy, are you here? Hello. How you all doing? Good, baby. Let's sit down with uh, each and every one of you. And uh, I like to, uh, like I said, that I uh, like to reach out to like Loretta Joyti Mendahi, who are making their journey out towards Madagascar. And those delegates that maybe have made journeys to other countries or other areas to share messages and to unite people to come as one together. So I'd like to just reach out to them and say thank you for, you know, doing wonderful work for all of us because we're all in it together. And uh, just like to say thank you today for wonderful song, wonderful words, because, you know, you have each and every one of you has touched us through your words and through your songs. So like to say Wopila, and then like to say thank you for uh, Shauna too, how she used that eagle, eagle format, because I know that the eagle spreads its wings to nurture its younger ones to protect them. So in a way, when we look at it, our words are like an eagle where we, you know, we come together as one to, you know, help each other, encourage each other as we move forward to accomplish the objective that lies ahead of us. So with that, I just like to say uh, Wopila again. And then like uh, on one hand, I'd like to share like a, a quick story as well, because I know I love, you know, my part, I like sharing stories with each and every one of you or people that I encounter. One of the stories that I like to quickly share is because a lot of these stories are pretty long, but you know, what I do is I kind of shorten it and you know, trying to touch upon the main points of the you know the stories so the story that i'm going to quickly share with you is uh the story of what we call nupsiochli in our language we call it nupsiochli is the ring the ring that we wear and i believe that i shared this with you uh many of you that uh many like the older ones long time ago have yearned to get this ring but many have not gotten the ring have come short and have made their journey to the creator. But those that have accomplished that task to gain that ring and place it on their finger, the creator, what the creator does is once that person dons that ring from the shoulder of a deer, the creator, what he does is takes that elder and he rewinds time, time back into the beginning of time to where nothing exists where the only, the only person that exists is the creator itself. So he takes that person back in time to into total darkness where nothing is. Then from there, he takes that person step by step as everything comes into play, everything comes into creation. So this is where the beginning of what we call storytelling. We share stories through this way because the creator is the one that sees everything that lies ahead of us. 
and he foresees the future. So as he foresees the future, this person who dons the ring shares the stories with the people around him. So as he shares the stories, then he makes that connection with his own people and with and the people that he encounters that shares with them. So as time goes on, this is where what we see that stories come to play and that we see things and we observe. And this is how we take care of Mother Earth because the creator said that, you know, always take care of your mother because it's the mother that nurtures you, takes care of you. He's, she's the one that, you know, nurtures you, waters you, everything. So you become stronger. And the creator is the one that gives you understanding and the knowledge. And when you come together, you become whole as a whole person to understand yourself first, then you understand other people and you help them through your words. So, so they develop that relationship and that bond together. So with that, I'd like to just, you know, because I know this story, like I said, takes a long time, but I kind of shorten it up to the main points. But with that, I'd just like to share a, a prayer with you guys, you know, send out a prayer to each and every one of you. So whenever, like, uh, like myself, when I make a prayer, I ask each and every one of you to join me in your own ways, how you pray. Because, you know, the creator hears and understands every language and how you believe in him. So with that, what you talking to? I'm going to make a prayer. Tunkashila. Atewa kantanka. Hole a petu ki unshia wahina jina. Hoye che. Hoye che le le hong obyan kabli na. U chaki xie. Na hong si tomni ya pili na. Mnya kota ha. Tunkashila. Hole na unshi chaki la hokute kya ahintuina. Na awan chanka yo. We choye wash testena olo wash de glohipi ni toka. Na we chak chich una wo. Na awai chak chakayo. Hueche tokata keyable we choye ya ekigna kapilina, wankigla kapikte. Na tokate ke iwash de pikte. Hona lampe to kye kat hu we chungnu ni pilina kat we chunkik shapit hunkashila. Ishtamini hu pilina we chak chipakintayo. Ho toksa ampe to aje tokata wonki chigla kapikte. Chahe un lampe to kit hunkashila, chiksu ye, na unik shapi unhyo take pila. We cho ye ya yon kikina kapila, un kichi pahiuna, kichi wash de po. Ho toksa tokata ke a unya pila, we cho ye na won kikla kona, un kamani pila tunkashila. Chahe un ho ye che lampe to ki, ya wo pila jija, um niche wash de ma, le a hun yakila kapicha, na wo pila tanka. Ha, heche duela, mita guyasi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody take a deep breath. <laughs> Mendahi? Is Mendahi with us? No. Yo. Ah. Luisa <laughs> Tesh. Wonderful to see you. Thank you. Tokara make in Zaki, Tokara make in Moy. Kama de Makihu, Kama de Makita de Mawa. Is a wa tea that's oh, Tinana tea, Dada tea acti, Tite Kunte. Is a wa Zambata, Tibonro, Nermondo. It's a great pleasure to be here in this beautiful Mother Earth delegation every month we carry out this beautiful gathering and acknowledging all the sacred elements of life, acknowledging that we are here just for a while. So we want to call to this dialogue Mother Earth and Father Sky. 
you know, Mother Earth is sending us so much love, but also messages these days. And we are working hard around meeting prophecies because prophecies are not going to happen if we don't carry out, if we don't align ourselves in this beautiful path of reciprocity and responsibility. We need to work hard. And we have this period of time. I always remember that on May 3rd, 2013, the long count Mayan calendar ended, the 13th back to. So we have 13 years of big, big opportunity to align us as human beings with other relatives, with Father Sky and Mother Earth. So this year is very crucial, 2022, and we are still witnessing four years ahead. And the work that we are carrying out is very important because it's about to, uh, the acknowledgement of the spiritual authority of original nations and peoples. The world need to understand that because ancestral wisdom is highly needed at this time. How we can come in alignment with mother, grandmother moon, grandfather uh, son, and, and uh, the great star. So we remember that we are here in this time and space just for a while. And that we are the reflection of our ancestors and we are the ancestors today. And we are delivering these messages for the future generations to come. That we are here just for a while. So what kind of generations we are delivering to Mother Earth? We need to go from the anthropocentric way of thinking to the Earth mind thinking, because we are just another species. We are not the peak of the creation. We need to be more, to be more humble. And that the technology that is destroying Mother Earth need to be put aside. We need a technology that serves for the care of life. So the science, science and ancestral wisdom need to come together. We need to wave together. We need to go from science that are chopping knowledge to science that is inter disciplinary and even more to transdisciplinary sciences. So the ancestral wisdom is a knowledge at high level. We want to repeat that 80% of the most beautiful biodiversity in the world exists in our territories, sacred territories. We want to insist that we need to erase awareness that these are in peril, these are in danger. Why? Because of commodification of nature. Because life, sacred elements are seen as resources as, and not, not as sacred. Life, is sacred. And we need to see that water is not a resource. Water is sacred. Water is a living being with a spirit everywhere. And the fire is alive. Fire is a sacred element. We need to respect. We need to learn from and the soil of Mother Earth is sacred because it's 
our ancestors. It's sacred. That dust is our ancestors. And we are, if we are burning the fossil fuels, that we call fossil fuels, it's not just fossil fuels. It's our ancestors that we are burning. We need to respect. We need to divest from fossil fuels. So the wind. The wind we breathe is sacred. Every time we breathe, and I thank you, Grandma Luisa Teich, when you say breathe, let's do it consciously, with conscious, with love. And that's why we are remembering, remembering us, that we are just humans, that we need, and we are the reflection from those sacred elements. So I'm going to call upon the mermaid, the mother of the waters, the feather serpent, to bless your family, your community, to bless every one of you and your work. And if your institution, your person is not working for the care of life, you need to change, whether you like it or not. We need to change. This is the time and the time is now. Hamadi makimu, kamadi maketa, dihmewa, doa sukui, hira sukui kwa, isengwa. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brothers and sisters. Hey, 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 hey. Woo. Power, power. Power, love. Power, beauty. Power, blessing. Power, blessing. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, people, take a deep breath and take all these beautiful prayers and songs and thoughts and feelings in. Let it soak in, let it soak in. We now have a short video, Time Out of Time, which was sent to us by uh, Kura Kendi. Actually, I think we have a message from Kura Kendi, and then I'll, I'll, I'll share more about the video, Luisa. Okay, and good. Go a few minutes over, but if you all grant us and flow with us, this is a strong prayer that's coming to you today, and we want to bring it to a close in a strong, strong way. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your patience. So I think, uh, Marjean, if you can bring Kodakindi's picture, Eleonora has a message from him. Eleanor, are you muted? Sorry, what's it? This is correct in this message. The earth is, is experiencing new waves of energy of very high degrees in these times. Whatever that is not yet clean, clear, cleared or healthy makes itself seen within man's clarity. We will be learning from the depths of the true feelings and alignment with higher service and higher heart callings. Our mother earth is rising her frequency in this, her new beginnings. We may feel tired and so rest is needed, but do not fall asleep. Do not become unconscious. You are all an important part of the Earth's new encodings. Trust and do your work with sincerity, humility, integrity, and immense love. Kurekin. Mm, thank you. Thank you. And so what we're going, if it's okay, Luis, I'm going mm -hmm. to flow. Yeah, yeah. You have the car, baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding back here behind this old grandma, you see. I know she knows things. <laughs> if I take her off, then she stops everything for me. So she mm -hmm. wants to be here today. <laughs> okay. 
So this, I want to just take a moment as we come to the close of, of this very profound gathering today. I want to thank you all. I want to thank all those that are listening. I want to thank all those seen and unseen that are circled up around us. I want to thank the ancestors whose hand is on this and lighting and guiding our way. I want to thank all those seen and unseen hands that bring all of this to us. I just want to give great thanks. And I want to bring my gratitude as I introduce this film that our dear friend, Jeremy Wilan, um produced. He was with this old elder, Tata Pedro Cruz, in his last days. And he filmed a lot that uh, uh, that Tata wanted to make sure the world felt as he was closing his door to walking with us. He walked here on this earth from 1943 to 2021. He is, is about to open here in this video and spend a few minutes with you, blessing you as he is offering uh, this prayer to the mother earth and this creation. It is a prayer that honors the Mayan New Year. It is a prayer by this revered Tata Pedro Cruz, who has now returned to the ancestors. Oh, corazón del cielo. Oh, corazón de la madre tierra. Oh, corazón del agua. Oh, corazón del fuego. Oh, cuatro vientos que respiramos el corazón de nuestra vida. He aquí que somos su descendencia. Por eso invocamos. Con el permiso de los abuelos y abuelas. Encendemos el sagrado fuego para homenajear el cargador de este año. Te damos a Jaula las gracias por todo, por todo lo que recibimos durante este año. El app. Gracias te damos por nuestra vida, por la vida de nuestros hijos, por la vida de nuestras vecinas, comunidad, naciones, continentes del mundo. Damos las gracias por la vida. Damos las gracias por todo lo que recibimos. Te damos siempre las gracias. Encendemos el sagrado fuego para agradecer por todo lo que hemos recibido y para pedir perdón por todas las faltas que cometimos durante este año. Pedimos perdón por todo. Así que, en nombre, en nombre de todos los Ajijab, en Pashir Kailaj, damos las gracias por nuestro mundo maya, por todo el mundo. Pedimos a la madre de naturaleza, recibe otro gil y la cabeza en la salida del sol, en la caída del sol, y muy del cielo y canil del cielo. Corazón. 
Gracias. Felicitaciones a cada uno de los que estamos acá. Que todos estamos en concentración en la espiritualidad. En este templo sagrado, al entrar en la puerta, dejar todas las preocupaciones. Todo lo que nos preocupa. Pasional. Todo lo que nos viene, que no nos hace bien. Al entrar, todo concentrado el espíritu. Para que funcione todo lo que venimos a hacer acá. Es una de las oportunidades que yo no esperaba. Sentía la energía, pero no esperaba. Pero sí, en este sagrado lugar, el Ajao nos colocó, porque aquí donde vivieron nuestros abuelos mayas y tupil, aquí donde se enfrentaron, los tupilos nunca fueron vencidos. Entonces, aquí hago recordar las palabras de nuestros ancestros mayas. Dijeron, nosotros nos vamos. Nosotros regresamos. Y aquí está. Estamos en el tiempo, el regreso de los hombres de maíz. Uh -huh. Y aquí está. Es la sabiduría. Que la sabiduría de nuestros ancestros. Yo sé y siento sus energías cada uno, que los que estamos aquí no estamos como turistas. No estamos buscando otra cosa más que la espiritualidad. Alguien vendrá con dudas. Voy a ver qué son los mayas. Aquí estamos los mayas. No somos pintados, sino que somos hijos, nietos, bisnietos de nuestros abuelos mayas. Así que si las cosas que no nos funcionan al salir, podemos llevar. Y si no, pues que se queda ahí. Vamos a ir limpiando poco a poco. Vamos a luchar, porque de toda manera, como humanos, de todas maneras, estamos afectados, estamos contaminados mentalmente, espiritualmente. Aquí, luchemos, porque estamos en el Guaya, estamos en reconciliación con la madre naturaleza, con los abuelos. Estamos purificándonos, estamos limpiando. Estamos limpiando nuestra mente, nuestro corazón. 
nuestra mente y nuestro corazón sea uno. Por eso que en la espiritualidad no se habla de Ahau. Ahau es Dios. Sino que se habla con Dios. Mm -hmm. Se habla en el corazón. No se, no se, re, no se recite ninguna oración. Sino que salen del corazón. Esta es la espiritualidad. Entonces, para que vivamos bien y vemos algo acá durante estos días que vamos a estar acá. Afortunados somos todos los que estamos acá. Así que muchas gracias por venir a compartir con nosotros sus energías, nuestras energías, sea un Matios. Orgulloso, orgulloso somos. Somos de la nueva generación. Ha pasado una generación. Ahora estamos en la nueva generación. Somos hombres y mujeres nuevos. Por eso nos da mucha felicidad de cantar cantar de los nuevos tiempos somos descendientes de maya maya somos todos maya somos todos en los cinco continentes ven hermanos y hermanas míos seamos uno venga la igualdad por una paz duradera por una paz verdadera para el I pass it back to you, Ye Ye. Mm, 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 come mm, to the mm. end of our, our time together for this yes. month. I'm just going to invite everybody to take a moment and put your hands on your heart. Take a deep breath and let all that we have shared sit here. <clears throat> sit here in your heart. Let it inform your root. Let it inform your head. Let it ooze from your heart through your skin and leak on to everyone that you touch or think about. This has been a very, very rich and beautiful session. And may we know it with our eyes wide open and may we take it with us into our sleep. Ashe, 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 Sheo. <laughs> thank you, one and all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are loved, you are precious. Good travel, everybody. Safe travel. Travel, travel in you. safety. Mendoza. Arrive well. Bye. Love you. Bye -bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Marjean, for sharing your screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, chicken. <laughs> <laughs>